Well, welcome everyone to Race Face TV and this episode of Race Face Spotlight. Today, we're gonna to go all the way up north to Scandia, Minnesota, where we find 14-year-old Joe Valento. Joe, how are you doing this evening? I'm doing great, how are you doing, Rod? I'm doing just perfect, man. So tell us, I know it's been so cold up there. I saw some temperatures up there that was like 35, 38 below zero. So what have you been doing all this off season? Um, staying warm for one thing in the warm heated house and um, working out preparing for this season, making sure I have the strength to wheel these cars around the track um, and doing a lot of sim racing. So Joe, I know that you've got a lot of hobbies up there, a lot of outdoor things that you like to do. So what does Joe Valento do when he's not racing? Um, well, if we get good snow like we had this last winter, I like to go snowmobiling. And then um, during the summer, I like to go fishing and hunting and also some four-wheeling when I get the chance. So I know that I got a text from your dad one day. I think it was like 36 below zero. And he told me that you guys were doing some ice fishing. Did you go on that ice fishing uh, expedition? I didn't. That was his. But he, uh, I know he froze his butt off there. And uh, I'm not quite that crazy to go off fishing in that time. All right. Well, that makes me think a lot more of you. Because I'm telling you what, there's something about 38 below zero going out in the wind. I think he said the wind chill factor was 60 something below. Cutting a hole in some ice and seeing if you could catch some fish. I know the best way yeah, I can go fishing when it's that cold, and that's go down to the local fish market. Yep, yep, I agree. All right, so I know that you've been doing a lot of simulator training, and you've been working with a legend, and his name is Robbie Yunser. What's that been like? It's been great. Robbie is a great teacher. We've been working with uh, the Racecraft One with uh, Kelly Jones and Robbie Yunser, and um, we've been having some classes every Wednesday night, and we we pick a track and then we run about an hour at the track and then he takes we take the data of all of us uh, me Jaden Walbridge and Bryce McVanson we're all running together and he takes all of our data and we compare it and see where I'm struggling and Jaden's faster or Jaden's faster or I'm struggling or I'm faster and Jaden's struggling and we put it together and we help each other out and just give each other tips and it's it's really great he has a data converter thing where it takes all of our laps and has like our throttle position, our steering position, our brakes and uh, our speeds and all the stuff that you can need to take that on and we all just compare it and we uh, get faster from it so then the next week we hit it and we're even better. And so you feel like that's really been helping you out don't you? Big, it's been a big time help. I've never run a stock car before besides the one test with uh, Kelly Byers and um, it's taught me a lot. He's just taught me throttle control, passing, how to bump and run, and just all the stuff that you need to be good at driving a full body stock car. Well, that's awesome. And I know that, uh, I know that Robbie and both Kelly, I've talked to them out after each one of your sessions and they've been, they've been really impressed by what the three of you guys have been doing and what kind of results that you've been. So great job there. So um, you've got a lot of things going on and I know that now that racing season is getting back to, to full swing, how do you juggle school and racing at the same time? Um, it can be tough at times when we go on like week long trips, like we did to Inverness, Florida this winter. Um, uh, the Osceola School District is pretty good though. They can usually get me as much homework as I can do that's not online to do uh, before I get home and then I can just catch up on online stuff. I'm lucky they give us a nice uh, study hall and that helps me catch up on late homework that I come back and I can do when I get back from the race trip. So sometimes it can be a little tough. Um, I think the hardest thing, though, is that I missed so many days of school. And I think I've missed almost 15 this year. So we're starting to debate maybe a homeschooling next year. We're not for sure yet, though. Okay, so it's not like that you don't need some other things to do. But I also know that you've recently got involved with a charity group called Friends of Jacqueline Foundation. And um, I know that you've uh, kind of been already been matched up with a, with a kid that's actually battling pediatric cancer. So can you tell us a little bit about that program? Uh, yeah, so we've been match matched up with uh, Maxon. He also lives here in Minnesota. Um, the Friends of Jacqueline Foundation is, they're a foundation that is raising awareness for pediatric cancer and other childhood cancer. 
So we're getting involved with them, and how we're getting involved is we are getting paired up with kids that are battling these cancers. Like I said, I'm being paired up with Max, and right now he's in New York having one of the biggest surgeries of his life. He's doing much better today. But um, like I was saying, we get matched up with a kid, and um, we do go through an adoption process with them, and what we do is we're trying to make their life better. We're trying to give more fun in their life because we understand that they go through a lot of tough times in their, in their life, and we're trying to give them light in their life. So one of the ways that we'll do that is like by bringing them down to the, tr the shop or bringing them to the track on a race day and giving them merchandise and making them feel part of the team. So we're trying to help these kids feel like they're having as much um, fun as us or more honestly because they're getting really great chances to hang out with us at the track. Yeah, that's really cool. So um, I, I know that that program is really all about providing support, not only for the kid, but also if they have any siblings and also their parents. And I saw a lot of uh, social media interaction going on between you and, and Matskin during that period of time that he was kind of struggling through this surgery and still is, um, especially on those two dates. I mean, I, what, what you guys were doing was just awesome. And I saw some other of the race face drivers kind of kick in. So you're not only going to be working with the child that you're matched with on the adoption, but you're also going to be supporting other uh, drivers, kids that, that are adopted by other drivers in race face as well. Is that not true? Right. And it's as easy as sending them a text or FaceTiming them or just asking them how it's going. It's, it's not like it's hard to do and who wouldn't want to do it? Yeah, that, that's, that's absolutely very, very cool. And we're, we're really proud to be a part of Friends of Jacqueline Foundation. And we're really looking forward to getting, um, you know, even deeper involved with them as the season goes on. So let's talk about this coming weekend. Um, I, I guess what you're getting ready to do is you're getting ready to get back behind the, the, the wheel of the car, but it's in a legend car this time. And I think you're headed to the Dells. Is that correct? Yep, it'll be. Uh, at the Dells Raceway in the Legend with uh, the Great North Legends. I haven't been in the car for about a month, so it's it's going to be great. It's going to be a great time. And the, the Dells, I've run one time in the truck, and it was a it's a really fun track. It's a little bit different because they've got like concrete. Um, about on your left, you just hit your left side in the concrete, and then on your right side is asphalt. So you're almost on two different racing surfaces at once. So it's a little different. It's kind of fun. So let me ask you something, doing all of this legend racing, do you think that's going to help prepare you for this Midwest Truck Series that you're going to be running this year? For sure. I will take everything that I learned in the legend, considering that it was my first um, asphalt car besides quarter midgets that I've driven on asphalt. I'll take everything that I learned from it to the truck running with Kelly this uh, season. Uh, everyone says that the Legends are one of the hardest cars to run because they're so square and the aerodynamics are great, the brakes are not the best, and it's a really tough car to drive fast. So when you learn how to drive it fast, you can usually um, go into the next car with a little bit better of an advantage than someone that hasn't driven a Legend car before. Right, so we talked a little bit about that Midwest Truck Series. So, and you're going to be running for Kelly Byers, which has got a great program up there. So, uh, I mean, talk a little bit about your excitement and how much you're looking forward. Because like you said earlier, you've never really raced in a full body stock car. And now they're going to put you in that truck, which is basically like a late model with a truck body on it. So that's going to be pretty exciting getting ready for that, for that series for 2019. For sure, it's my first stock car that I'll be racing, and just from the one test that I've done with Kelly, it was a blast. It's such a fun uh, truck to race, and uh, Kelly's a really great guy to work with, and his crew, they do a phenomenal job on the truck. It's uh, top-notch. I mean, there's not much better than it, if there is anything better than this. It's, it's a great opportunity for me, and I think I'm going to be learning and getting a lot of experience with running with them. So you, you had a test with them. Kind of walk us through what it was like to get behind that full body uh, race vehicle for the very first time. Uh, it was awesome. Kelly, like I said, is really great. He walks you through everything really thoroughly and he's really good at just just helping you drive the car faster and um, giving you advice and tips. And I think that's also because he himself was a racer, so he understands a little bit more 
what's going on inside the car, what the driver's thinking, because he himself was a racer. And we did pretty good in that test. I was very happy with our results, and I think that uh, Kelly was as well. So uh, it's going to be a fun year this year. Yeah, I know I talked to Kelly right after that test, and he, he mentioned to me, he goes, are you sure he's never been in a full-size vehicle before? And I'm like, yes, I'm pretty positive. I said, I know he's driven full-size cars, but never a full-size race car. So I think that was a pretty a pretty cool compliment coming from him. It is, for sure. And like I said, he just does such a good job. It's like, it's hard not to be fast because he's just so thorough and the truck is so good. It's just, it's it's a really great experience for me. Well, Joe, I want to thank you for being with us this evening and, and being a guest on Race Face Spotlight. So do you have any of your sponsors that you'd like to give a shout out to before we wrap up? Uh, yeah, I'd like to thank Kelly Byers Racing and the Great North Legends and all the crews from both teams. They do a great job on the cars. Uh, liquid or uh, Nitro Lubricants, Smiley's Sewer Service, the Friends of Jacqueline Foundation, and Race Pace Brand Development. All right. Well, Joe, thank you. And I know you gave a shout out there to a new sponsor that you've got called Nitro Lubricants. We're really happy to have them on board for 2019. And we look... Uh, we look forward to being help help them get their brand out there because they're they're kind of getting into the circle track racing uh, for the very first time and they picked you to be their brand ambassador. So I know you've got to be excited about that as well. I'm in, I'm very honored and they have uh, top notch quality oils and greases and different cleaning stuff. So it's going to be a great opportunity for me and I'm very excited to work with them. Okay. Well, again, thanks, Joe, for being with us. Race fans, thank you for tuning in to this episode of Race Face Spotlight. As we always end up, we encourage you to go out and support local racing in your community. And don't forget to go on to Facebook, Instagram, check out Joe Valento Racing, like his page, and don't forget to go to JoeValentoRacing.com, his website, where you can find out more information. And we're going to see all of you back here next week with another Race Face Spotlight.